Amal Clooney has been named among the experts advising the International Criminal Court ICC, on issuing arrest warrants for Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and Hamas leader Yahya Sinwar. The ICC's chief prosecutor, Karim Khan, confirmed that the court is pursuing these warrants on charges of war crimes and crimes against humanity related to the ongoing conflict in Gaza. The charges against Sinwar are tied to the October 7 attacks on southern Israel, while Netanyahu faces charges related to Israel's military actions in Gaza. This marks the first time the ICC has targeted a leader of a USLE. Khan expressed gratitude for the panel of experts' advice, which included Clooney, a renowned human rights lawyer with a notable career addressing global conflicts. Clooney has represented victims of ISIS in several trials leading to convictions for genocide, war crimes, and crimes against humanity. Israel and Hamas have been in conflict since Hamas attacked southern Israel in October, resulting in significant casualties and displacement. According to Gaza health officials, over 34,000 Palestinians have died due to Israeli strikes, while Israeli officials report around 1,200 deaths from the initial Hamas attacks, with 253 hostages taken. Despite the U.S. being a strong ally of Israel, the White House has criticized Netanyahu's military actions in Gaza. The international community has also pressured Israel, with some celebrities speaking out on the conflict. Khan stated that the court is also seeking warrants for Israel's Defense Minister Yov Gallant and two Hamas leaders, Mohammed Deif, leader of the Al-Qasim Brigades, and Ismail Haniyi, Hamas political leader. The charges against Sinwar and other Hamas leaders include extermination, murder, hostage-taking, rape, and sexual assault in detention. Netanyahu and Gallant face charges of causing extermination, using starvation as a war method, denying humanitarian relief, and deliberately targeting civilians. A panel of experts, including Clooney, advised on the arrest warrants. They emphasized that the conflict has tested international law's limits and confirmed the rigorous, fair, and law-based nature of the prosecutor's work. The panel unanimously agreed that there are reasonable grounds to believe the suspects have committed war crimes and crimes against humanity. Anne Herzberg, legal advisor of the pro-Israeli NGO Monitor, condemned the decision to pursue Israeli officials, describing it as abhorrent and an exploitation of international institutions for malevolent agendas. An ICC panel will now consider Khan's application for the warrants. Clooney wrote about her participation in the process on the Clooney Foundation for Justice's website, emphasizing the importance of protecting civilian lives and the rule of law. She noted that the panel comprised experts in international humanitarian and criminal law, including former judges from The Hague. Their unanimous decision reflects the panel's commitment to applying humanity's law impartially, protecting all victims of conflict. In his announcement, Khan accused Netanyahu, Gallant, and three Hamas leaders, Sinwar, Deef, and Haniye, of war crimes and crimes against humanity. Netanyahu and other Israeli leaders condemned the move as disgraceful and anti-Semitic while U.S. President Joe Biden supported Israel's right to self-defense against Hamas. Israel is not an ICC member, so even if the arrest warrants are issued, Netanyahu and Gallant face no immediate prosecution risk. However, the threat of arrest could complicate their international travel. Hamas is already designated as a terrorist group by the West. The latest conflict began on October 7, when Hamas militants from Gaza attacked Israel, killing about 1,200 people, mostly civilians, and taking 250 hostages. In response, Israel launched a campaign against Hamas in Gaza, resulting in over 35,000 Palestinian deaths, with at least half being women and children, according to Gaza health officials. The conflict has caused a severe humanitarian crisis in Gaza, displacing approximately 80% of the population and pushing hundreds of thousands to the brink of starvation, as reported by UN officials.